Hey guys, Mooj K here with my Saberetta uh, character demonstration as I promised. Uh, you'll notice right off the bat that I am using the Thief class, which is very unexpected for me because like many people, and I do recommend this for most people actually, um, I was expecting to build him as a hunter and to use um, basically as a hunter with uh, over limit to give him like extra attack and everything which is kind of rare like you know hunters typically don't have a big attack boost so you know Sabretta does become usable that way and he's dark element which is unique for a ranged unit again but what happened was that I actually ended up pulling his Dirk Dirk of projection and it's a character specific weapon it would feel like a waste not to use it and it only works for his thief class so I had to use it I had to build him this way um, and it turns out that it's actually surprisingly good. Um, sorry, Broadway saying, but uh, yeah, it's actually making him really fun to use. So you can see his uh, stats here. Uh, his stats aren't that impressive. I mean, even with over limit maxed out, his attack is only 403. This guy's just never gonna be like you know some dominating presence, just mowing over enemies. But what he is is a thief that kind of like has to use a little bit of finesse and some you know tricks to either paralyze enemies and you know keep them off your back and uh, uses really good mobility uh, five move four jump with the move plus one passive here and you know just kind of like poke away at them of course on most content that's kind of easy right now you can one shot most enemies but you know i imagine in the future you're going to have to use his disables more and be smart about it you can't just rush in and you know expect to win so he's not particularly tanky of course as a thief but you know he is very fast so um the reason the dirk is so good is because first of all the stats are like really amazing like 34 attack 8 agility um hp 25 i mean this is a lot of good stats days plus 14 um so he's all about that you know disables and stuff like that but which is also why I'm using Basic Rogue. I mean, I considered using some Dark Knight abilities, but uh, yeah, you will probably need some of these, uh, like especially Paralyzing Dagger. You will probably need some of these uh, as you get tougher and tougher content coming his way and you can't just um, one-shot everything. You'll probably need to, you know, pick your spots. Uh, throwing Dagger gives a little bit of range um, if you need and it's cheap to use. Actually, if you happen to be more of like a Throwing Dagger fan, it's not that strong of an ability, but it just kind of gives them some range options you know some people might want to consider replacing move one with like um what is it no it's hawkeye so hawkeye gives you plus one range it doesn't apply to his regular attack but it does apply to his ranged attacks including throwing dagger but i mean i figure if you have the extra move you can move it move into range to throw that dagger anyway so i don't know it's just a theory but anyway, uh, yeah, the Dirk is really cool to use. It gives him a very useful master ability. What it is, is it's basically like a Holy Saber or Dark Saber ability with that you know 3x3 three three cross. But it has a couple of better properties. It is more expensive at 40 jewels, but Sabaret has zero problems getting jewels. He gets a ton of jewels. Um, so basically it has 3x3 three three and it does not do friendly fire at all. So you can do it in a crowd, not worry about hitting your own teammates. And it um, gives you double defense. So it's like a really nice attack and a buff and helps him stay alive. So anyway, I don't want to talk too much about it. We'll just go straight into the demonstration again. Um, I don't know if you guys are getting like bored of this Knight's Pursuit level. So maybe I'll try something different. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, turn this on. Why don't we go to Mage's Trial just for a little bit of different scenery. I mean, they all kind of look similar, but yeah, we'll we'll try that out. And if I had time, I would probably also show him in one of the um, current event levels. Like he actually, you know, holds his own in the uh, Brave Frontier farming levels. You do have to be a little bit careful, of course. But um, actually, it might make this video too long, so I'll have to do it at another time. Okay, so the first move is going to be getting some jewels, of course. Now, one of the best benefits of these free characters, look at how many jewels he got from that one hit. Uh, one of the best 
benefits of the free characters is the fact that you're able to level them to 85 because that's actually hard to limit break um, gacha units that way but with these free units it's actually very doable and at level 85 he's gonna have enough max jewels or starting jewels to use the master ability right away which is when he really snowballs into um, a pretty powerful dude um, okay nobody's really clustered so that kind of sucks I'll just do another attack there but it feels like you're using a ninja because he's just so fast. Uh, he doesn't have the elemental range or options that a, uh, that a ninja does, of course. But instead of that, he'll get more of the uh, disables. And again, his master ability, uh, which is really unique. So check this out. Demon summoning doubles his own wait, doubles his own defense for three turns. Okay, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, look at that. Nice AoE ability, nice animation. Yeah, and it does good damage. So, uh, once you get some, some of those jewels saved up, you can start spamming this around. Um, making him tankier, keeping him alive with that range. It's really awesome. So, let me just show you real quick, like, um, Paralyzing Dagger, I use that a lot against tougher enemies. Um, throwing Dagger is kind of like, if you need to, like, just pick off an enemy that's kind of weak. And, you know, it's not a lot of damage, but it is cheap. And it's nice to have that option. And then the other ability that you're probably going to use sometimes is going to be uh, Sneak Attack. Uh, which gives extra damage when you hit from behind. So instead of uh, 384, you would do 443. Eh, it's not that good. Honestly, thief abilities are not that great. Um, Charming Dagger is actually very useful too. Um, obviously, you would um, get the enemy to turn on his own friends and, you know, fight for you. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Demon Summoning again, <laughs> uh, just because it's cool. And then he has some like, um, I don't know why you would want to provoke with him unless you're trying to save some more important characters by having the enemies aggro on him. But he does have that option as well and it's a little bit ranged so you can like, you know, do it from afar. So interesting character. Um, if you happen to look up his job and everything online, it's going to say Thief and then in parentheses Sabaretta. But the Thief abilities are actually the same. The only difference is that he gets extra stats. He um, is stronger than a normal thief but it's still not a great job and I would highly recommend going to Hunter uh, with with the over limit passive uh, for most people unless you get the Dirk and then I would do the thief class as you saw here so yeah um, I'm having a lot of fun with him um, thought he was just gonna be another Hunter but this definitely opens up some options so hope you guys enjoyed uh, I apologize if you didn't get the Dirk but Honestly, the hunter job is probably how he's intended to be used for most people anyway. So this is just a bonus. So that's all I'm going to do on Sabretta. I'm not going to show him again on Hunter. I'm just, I just wanted to show that Dirk thing because I thought it was kind of cool. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed.